Everybody, Keith Jones behind the binoculars here at Parks for Saturday, January 25th. Not a very nice day weather-wise. There is heavy rain expected. The winds have kicked up. We will have a sloppy racetrack. Let's take a look at races 6 to 9 this afternoon. The 6th race is 6.5 furlongs. It is a claiming race. Horses in for 7,500 not winners of four. Trainer Finn Aristone saddles two of the contenders. Starting from the two outside gates, the 11 True Wisdom is 3-1 to one with Angel Rodriguez up for Phil. And the 12 Delinquent is 9-2 to two for Phil with Jockey Angel Castillo being named on Delinquent. Now it's interesting to note that Delinquent comes off two consecutive victories with Angel Rodriguez riding. But Angel instead has opted to ride the 11 True Wisdom. Despite that fact, I think I'm going to try number 12 Delinquent instead today. Now Delinquent, since coming up here to Parks, has run two outstanding races when going short. In fact, both of those races were victories. One for 12-5 non-winners at two. And that was put in for 75 non-winners of three and won both of those races and up to 75 non-winners of four today. Now, if you go back through the lines of Delinquent, Delinquent came up from the Midwest Circuit after racing at Keeneland to Churchill Downs. Has a good start back in October at Keeneland for $30,000 at 15 to 1. Finished fourth that day, got beaten only three lengths, then was put in for 10000 and was claimed that afternoon and then was brought north. I think Delinquent has uh, seemed to have found some of that old form since coming up here to Parks and might have a chance to get uh, a little bit of a decent price here on Delinquent for that outside gate. So let's try Delinquent in race number six today. Interesting ninth race to take a look at. The ninth race, one of those starter races. They'll go six furlongs here. Now, I tried him last time out he, uh, at seven furlongs, but we're going to back off to six furlongs today. And I'm going to come back and try number six, Wild Carabello. Wild Carabello, a horse that likes to get to the front. And when he does get to the front, he can be difficult to catch. Now, he seems to be on that pattern of running a, a good race followed by a bad race. Now, last time out was not one of his good races, so he might come back to form here today. Two starts back, but in the same spot. Uh, going six furlongs, which is the same distance today, got to the front and then drew off to win by better than six lengths at the end, put up a career best buyer effort uh, in that victory. And then after that six furlong win was put in for seven furlongs, maybe a little bit too far, uh, set the pace a good ways, but then weakened through the stretch and ended up finishing a pretty well beaten fifth. So we're going to back off to six furlongs again today, which probably is a better distance for Wild Carabello. He looks to be the controlling speed in here, and as I mentioned, when he does get to the front, he can be dangerous. Plenty of other horses that are going to take some money in here, so Wild Carabello might offer you some value as well. So race number nine, I'm going to go with the six, Wild Carabello. Good luck.